In today's episode, we're exploring rock climbing top roping style. You'll get a chance to see us demonstrate the basics while climbing routes on both Fresno Dome and Jackass Meadows. That's what makes it all worth it right there. Yeah, no da -da -da -da! <laughs> Boom. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Fresno Dome. Please. Our first top roping adventure will be at Fresno Dome. Fresno Dome is just south of Yosemite National Park. You can get to it by continuing up Highway 41 past the city of Oakhurst. Just after about four miles, you'll turn right on a road called Sky Ranch Road. So continue up this road and follow the signs. The trailhead actually is, is about less than three miles after the Fresno Dome campground. Frequently, I get asked, what's the difference between top rope and multi-pitch? So in this episode, we'll briefly go over those differences and how they're set up. Today, we're going to top rope an area called zippity doo We headed up with a few friends to tackle this mountain at 7,500 feet. It's May, and we thought the roads would be nice and dry. However, we were wrong. So, uh... This is Rick. Hi, Rick Barton. Hoping to climb, but we may be day in the snow instead. Yeah, this is what we came up against. Trying to determine whether we can make it from the cars or not, but what do you think, Tim? Possible, but then again, anything is possible. We gonna do it, Gary? Yeah, we're gonna hike. I wouldn't. We gonna hike it? Yeah. I'm from hike. the I'm from the nether regions of. of no, I wouldn't do it. What about Tell everybody your name. Oh, I'm Michelle. No, Hi. <laughs> Gary, yes. what's that in the background? There's no dome with snow on it. And what are we supposed to be doing today? Rock climbing in <laughs> dry weather. Woo! I should have brought snowshoes. getting even thicker. <laughs> we have to we have to hike up and then we're going to start going down a climber's trail. Okay. To the front of the dome. Okay, so Justin has some really good scientific information for us. Yeah, when you're walking in deep snow, stay away from trees and branches. Why? The snow is less dense. So, he's talking like Bad area. Good area. <laughs> can't eat her yet. Dang it. it. Okay, so after dealing with a lot of snow, ice, water, brush, falling through weak snow, now we got this climb. See them behind me? All the way down. We are here. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Fresno Dome. All of this beautiful wildlife that you see before you is fake. No, actually, it's real. <laughs> okay, before we climb Fresno Dome, I just want to do a quick little explanation on the difference between top roping and multi pitch. Some people call that lead climb. I get asked this a lot when we go rock climbing, and so uh, I figured. I'll just review it really quick before we before we head out. So top roping is basically climbing. You could lead climb or you can hike to the top of one pitch, which is about one rope length. And in fact, it's half of a rope length, okay? So you're gonna climb or hike to the top of half of a rope length and you're gonna set an anchor. And we're actually gonna go over that, a little bit of that, just an overview of setting an anchor for a top rope, all right? So at the top of um, half of a rope length, you're gonna find either a bolt at the top, actually two or three of these at the top of that, bolted into the rock. It's actually somebody went up there 
and they literally bolted this into the rock and you're going to set an anchor or if there happens to not be any anchor up there you could either throw a sling around a tree which isn't a lot of people's favorite or a rock um, and you're going to want three at the least or you're going to set protection so this is an example of protection it's a cam and you're going to be placing this i'm not going to go over this in this video um, right now i would suggest to go to a rock climbing gym and learn how to do this when they open so you're going to set an anchor at least three of them and you're going to um from the end of this you're going to start applying your anchor system okay so top rope is basically half a rope length you're going to set an anchor and then you're going to either repel or get lowered down belayed down and then you're going to have a belayer on one side as you climb up the belayer is going to be taking up your slack so that if you fall you're only going to fall hopefully the stretch of the rope um, or whatever slack they have in the line okay so that is top roping Among some other places, you can mostly find route information on Fresno Dome in both Mountain Project online and in the Fresno Dome guidebook. Getting route information is a great resource when trying to figure out where it is you can climb. It gives you the, an idea of how many bolts are available or whether it's a top roping or multi-pitch. Yeah, erase everything up to this point. Okay, now let's see here. Is this one of those trust your feet things yes. that I'm not trusting my feet yet? I can do this. A little you know, owie, and I want to fix it because I know it's going to bleed. What are you using? Some climber tape. What's so special about climbing tape? Oh, it's not climbing tape, but it's uh, just cool looking. I'm going to say it's just white tape. It's athletic tape. <laughs> athletic tape. There you go. <laughs> If you're planning to set up an anchor for a top rope, keep in mind not all top ropes have the option to walk up to. You still might need to have someone with leading capabilities to get up to that top to set the anchor. All right, you go. I don't know how, I don't know how solid I am. Let me see. <laughs> you will be. This looks easy peasy. Easy peasy. Let me squeeze you, honey. There you go. Five you seven. Got you got it. Clipping, clipping, clipping. Number one. Number one. Clipping, clipping, clipping. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. No, I'm clipping, clipping, clipping. Number one. <laughs> So we uh, got up and started the car this morning and found out it's dead. <laughs> we have a dead battery. We're going to be stuck here in the mountains. Not going home. Not going home. Luckily, uh, a good neighbor nearby had jumper cables. The guy all the way on the end. Ah, there's a trailer over there. Oh, long. That's pretty awesome.
We lucked out. Yay! Success! We don't have to live here. <laughs> 11. So we're at the balls, and my brother Ron and my nephew Ryan decided to join us today as we top rope. Okay, it's my turn to go up this uh, supposedly 5'11 climb. So I got my harness. I don't need my belay device anymore, so I'm going to put that over here. And I'm going to tie in, and we'll see how this goes. My trusty belayer. You went off to the left here, didn't you? You did? Got to cross those ropes. So, we did some pretty good uh, features there. Got a little bit more to go. All the way to the top. These are our personal anchors. Kind of slabby. It's not as easy as I thought it was, but uh, I think we can make it. How's my belayer doing down there? All right, ready to go for some more? What do you think? We should go off to the right. We made it to the top. Woo, here's the anchor. And we did it. Good job. Man, that was tough. Look at the view. Pretty spectacular, huh? Yay! So that's it for top roping. I hope this episode gave you a better understanding of what top roping is all about. In our next episode, we'll continue our adventures at Fresno Dome and Jackass Meadows, but this time we'll give you an overview of multi-pitching. <laughs>